All right, Corey, real quick. See, this is what you... Ah, oh man, this stupid thing, but whatever. This is what yours looks like for air fuels. So if you want to change that, you just go to configure units. And go to air fuel units. See, you're in ethanol. Go to gasoline. Apply. See all the numbers change in the background there. Okay, now your air fuel's right. And then if you go to setup parameters. Ah, this isn't good. Let's do, um, well, if you just hit fuel, hit the fuel thing, it comes up parameters. Let me move this thing. My computer's acting up. But, uh, you just have to unlock it, right? And then, like, you don't need O2 sensor number two. So I'll just change that for something useful. Like, uh, like ignition timing. Fuel map, that's kind of stupid. So you can do air temp. So you have engine speed, you know, RPM, map sensor, throttle, O2 sensor, ignition timing, air temp. One through four would be fine. All these are useless. So you can make this like, uh, the fuel pump, and then, you know, because it's turning it on, then you can do injector duty cycle and then you can do Do all three knocks. Knock one, knock raw. How much it's retarding it because of knock. Then you can do uh, you don't have nitrous. do your speed I don't know, just find stuff that looks useful your battery voltage that would be good so yeah so what do we have here so far oh here okay engine speed load and even that you can change it to PSI if you want so it makes more sense you can go configure units uh, load units and you can change it to PSI apply okay so now even your fuel maps in PSI now and then the log will be in PSI so you have RPM PSI throttle you have your O2 sensor, ignition timing, air temp, your four injector pulse widths, fuel pump. 
fuel injector duty cycle, the three knocks, vehicle speed, your speed you're going, and your battery. That should be like 